A little while ago, we said goodbye to whims and hello to wants, but wants also brought with them a friend of questionable popularity, fears. And fears, well, if you don't know how to deal with them, then they can be super annoying when it comes to gameplay. However, if you do know how to deal with them, then they're not too bad. Here we're going to take a quick look at once before focusing on the 12 base game fears, including what causes them, how to clear them, as well as how having a fear will impact on your sim. Before jumping in, just know that once and fears can be toggled on and off. To do this, open up game options before before going to the gameplay section. On the right hand side, you'll see text saying show wants and fears. And from here, you can choose to enable or disable them. Note that should you want to, you can disable and then re-enable wants and fears to re-roll your wants. Alternatively, you can also buy and drink a want refresher potion, which can be purchased for 200 satisfaction points. With that being said, let's take a closer look at wants. These, much like whims, will appear around your sim's head on the lower left. A maximum of three will appear at any given time, signaling various tasks that your sim wishes to do or achieve. The left and middle ones are often tied in with aspects of your sim, such as their traits, aspirations, relationships, and more. While these two ones will change regularly, they can also be pinned, which will prevent them from changing until they're completed. Now the right want is a little bit more different and it's tied to your environment, needs, or situation, and it cannot be pinned. An example being that if your sim is at a library, then they may want to read something while they're there. When you complete a want, your sim will gain some satisfaction reward points which can be used to purchase handy traits or potions. So what about fears? There are 12 in the base game, and these appear as purple traits which will impact your sim under specific circumstances. There's no limit to how many fears you can have at any one time, and they'll remain attributed to your sim unless you actively complete a task to counteract and overcome it. There's a task that correlates with each fear, and it has a chance to appear nearby your wants in a spiky bubble. Completing the task will remove the fear, provide some satisfaction points, and also give your sims a plus three confident moodlet for 12 hours. Note that even if you know what task is required to clear a fear, you'll only be able to clear it if you complete the task to remove a fear while it's present in the spiky bubble. Because of this, if your sim has multiple fears, then it can take them a few days to clear them all, with the spiky bubble needing to reset or reappear for each individual fear in order to then remove it. Know that while your sim has a fear, they'll be negatively impacted in some way, meaning that the faster you can overcome and remove a fear trait from your sim, the better. One piece of handy news is that if you're struggling to remove a fear, then one option is to purchase the Fear Be Gone potion for 300 satisfaction points, which drinking lets you vanquish one of your sim's fears. Also, a quick note is that when you first get a fear, you'll almost always get an initial tense or scared moodlet. But as this happens with pretty much all fears, I won't call it out individually for each one. And with that, it's time to look at all the base game fears. I will say that while I did a lot of gameplay testing for these, it was tricky to know if I uncovered the full effects of every single fear, so a big apologies if I miss a small detail or two. Also, if you know of something that I haven't mentioned, then please feel free to let me know in the comments down below. Let's start out with the fear of unfulfilled dreams, which you'll find pops up on sims who have gone a prolonged period of time without completing any of their wants. It'll impact on your sims by giving them negative moodlets from time to time, with them randomly becoming tense, sad, or angry. In order to clear the moodlet, you'll first need to complete one of your wants, and then you'll need to use the Discuss Fears interaction on another sim. Then poof, it's gone. We're going to take a look at the fear of failure next. This one can manifest in two ways. Firstly, your sim can have poor school or work performance, or secondly, it can appear after your sim makes poor quality craftables. While your sim has this fear, they'll often receive negative moodlets while crafting things, 
for example sad moodlets. On top of this, the fear suggests that sims will struggle to make quality objects and struggle at work too, and anecdotally, I felt that my sims work performance would actually rise a little slower. There are two ways to clear this fear. The first way is to show off an object you've crafted to another sim using the show off work interaction. Surprisingly, I managed to be successful with this even with a poorly crafted object. Know though that this can fail, which gives your sims an embarrassing moodlet. The second way to clear this is to request a performance review in your career. For this, while your sim is at work, change the way they work to be performance review. Then, once they return home, they'll either be very sad because they failed, or you'll have successfully cleared the fear and received both the usual confident moodlet and an inspired moodlet too. Let's take a look at the fear of a dead end job next and you can gain this fear if you go too long without a promotion. Annoyingly, sims at the top of their career are not exempt from this fear. The fear impacts on your sim in two key ways. Firstly, they will return from work with a sad moodlet, and secondly, their work performance will suffer and even go backwards. How to clear this, you ask? Well, before going to work, your sim will need to click on themselves and select Regain Passion which will give them an inspired plus two moodlet for six hours. Then just head into work and with a bit of luck, your sim should overcome their fear. The fear of death is the next one we'll look at. And this one has a chance to manifest after witnessing a death of someone your sim is close to or even from having a near death experience. With this, your sim won't participate in risky activities and most importantly, they'll lose the ability to plead with the Grim Reaper and essentially have a chance at saving another sim's life. Don't worry, you can still flirt with the Grim Reaper, but keep in mind that with this fear, you'll get a scared moodlet while being close to him or her. I know, I'm not going to assume the Grim Reaper's sex. Thankfully, clearing this fear is quite easy. You just need to use the Discuss Fears interaction with a ghost or elderly sim located in the friendly section. Alternatively, if you have a death flower and come face to face with the Grim Reaper again, then giving the Grim Reaper a death flower will clear this too. Now for the fear of fire. As you might have guessed, this will be given to a sim when they cause a fire, or even sometimes from just witnessing a fire break out. This fear not only makes it so that you're more likely to start fires, but it also prevents you from certain fire related interactions, such as lighting a fire in a fireplace, or even warming yourself on it too. To overcome this fear, you just need to extinguish a fire yourself. Note that the extinguish self interaction on a fire that's burning yourself won't count, nor will putting out another sim who's on fire. To clear this fear, you need to put out a blaze that's separate from yourself, such as a fire that's burning up a floor tile. It's very annoying, but if for example you use the extinguish yourself interaction and this puts out the fire on the oven and the surrounding area too, then this will not clear the fear. Moving on now to the fear of crowded places. This occurs when your sim spends a decent amount of time in a crowded location. Having this fear will mean that when your sims are surrounded by lots of others, they'll gain a plus two uncomfortable moodlet caused by being around too many sims. Also, I felt that my sim would walk away from the crowded spot here and there, but I'm not sure if this was just sims being their weird selves. To overcome this fear, you'll need to go to a crowded location and get this uncomfortable moodlet, and then perform three funny social interactions with nearby sims. Next, we'll look at one we've probably all had at some stage in our lives, being the fear of being judged. This is caused by sims being mean to your sim. However, I will flag that because it's quite rare that sims all of a sudden be mean to you, this isn't a fear that you'll run into all that much. To clear this fear, you'll need to successfully use the figure out differences interaction with two other sims. This interaction does have a chance to fail, and failing will give your sim an embarrassed moodlet for a few hours, during which time you'll be unable to use the figure out differences interaction with other sims. Despite this, if the interaction is successful, then you'll gain a happy plus two moodlet for six hours instead. Now for the fear of being cheated on, and this can very easily be caused by having your sim witness their partner flirt with another sim. 
This will cause chaos in your relationship, mainly because while you do have the fear itself, the act of your partner flirting in front of you also causes your sim's relationship bar to plummet and hence your sim will now reject a lot of their partner's romantic interactions. In addition, once you have this fear, if your partner flirts with another sim while you're nearby, you'll be given a 6 hour angry moodlet. To clear this fear, you'll need to successfully use the talk about relationship fears interaction with your partner, which is located in the romance section. This needs to be done twice, with progress being made after the first attempt. The first time it's successful, this will give the sim who initiated the talk about relationship fears a happy moodlet for making progress, and both times it will also give a happy moodlet for growing stronger together. On the flip side, if this fails, then know that both you and your partner will be given angry moodlets. Breaking up with or divorcing a sim will also get rid of this fear, however it won't give the usual confident moodlet for overcoming it. Next, let's take a look at the fear of cow plants. This fear can be triggered by having your sim be eaten by a cow plant and spat back out. I know, horrifying. If your sim loves gardening, then you're going to want to try and clear this as quickly as possible. Why? Because while a sim has this fear, they'll be horrified of plants. Literally, those leafy greens, your sim won't want anything to do with them. And this fear will block almost all plant interactions, aside from like uprooting and fertilizing them, making it practically impossible to garden. As for interactions with the cow plant, most of the fun interactions like playing with the cow plant will be blocked off too. On top of this, when you're nearby a cow plant, you'll be given a scared moodlet. So how does one clear this? Well, you'll simply need to milk the cow plant while your sim is in a confident mood. The fear of ghosts is next, and this one can be caused by having a negative experience with ghosts, such as seeing them possess furniture in front of you. This fear will oftentimes see your sim gain a scared moodlet when in a ghost presence, and anecdotally, I felt that my sim had more nightmares, but that might just be because of all the scared moodlets. Clearing this one is pretty easy, and simply requires you to fight a ghost. Next up is the fear of the dark. From my experience, this one can be caused by your sim being terrified or scared while outside at night. This could be due to a thunderstorm if you have seasons, or from being near cow plants at night when you're scared of them. It could even be from visiting Greg's abandoned house if you have the werewolves game pack. When you have this fear, it'll often leave your sims with terrified moodlets due to being afraid of the dark, which can sometimes disrupt their sleep. To clear this, you'll simply need to have your sim head outside at night while they're in a confident mood. Now get ready to channel your inner household cat with the fear of swimming. I triggered this fear a few times while my sim felt negative moodlets while swimming, but I will note that when this fear triggered, it felt very random. For example, sometimes this could be from swimming with very low energy while very uncomfortable, while other times they'd be uncomfortable with very low energy and not trigger it, or even trigger it while experiencing other negative moodlets like being scared. What effect does it have? Well, your sim is going to hate swimming, and swimming will give them a scared moodlet. On top of this, when you ask them to swim, they'll be like, how about no, and they'll hop right out of the pool. I did manage to make them swim on occasion, but for the most part, they'll exit the pool shortly after entering. To clear this moodlet, your sim will need to swim for an hour while in a confident mood. And being in a confident mood will stop your sim from jumping out of the pool right away when they have this fear too. And with that, we're at the end. That's a guide to wants and fears in The Sims 4. If you enjoyed or found this helpful, then please subscribe and leave a like. I would really appreciate it and have an amazing day. See you later.